finished watching the first six episodes of Marvel's Jessica Jones. I'm not happy with what's going on so far. See, first thing with uh, Luke Cage. He's in four of the f six episodes so far. And, you know, what's the point of having Luke Cage in here so much if he's going to get his own show? I hope that he doesn't come back until the end of this season or not at all because it just doesn't make sense for him to be there so much if he's going to get on the show. I mean, unless it's, his show is going to be an origin story or something like that. Uh, I don't like that they hooked up so fast. They had they met and had sex on the first episode and then uh, by the end, by well, by six, Cage finds out that uh, Jessica was the one that kills his wife, his uh, late wife, and he was angry, but he at some time is going to forgive her because they eventually get married, unless they wanted to say that the couple never get married. But I'm quite sure they will because this show does not treat relationships with any type of sense. I mean, uh, you can't forgive that, okay? It, it was, I'm sure Cage likes having someone around that has abilities and that he could be completely free with himself as far as his secrets and having sex without having to hold back. But at the same time, it's like you don't get over something like that. Kill Greg or not. You don't get over the woman that killed your uh, wife uh, being your lover and keeping that a secret from you all this time. So. Uh, we still don't know why the wife was with Kilgrave at this time, but still, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, I don't know if that's based on the comic really or not. I doubt it, but still, so that's just ridiculous. Uh, Jessica Jones herself, I just... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Cage, uh... Even started out, uh, Jessica wind up screwing up Cage's life because he knew about an affair that he was a part of, but Cage didn't know he was a part of, so... It, Police find photos, and then she made up some story about being hired, but wasn't hired. And it's just Mr. Cage is like, I don't do complications. I don't do complications. I don't do complications. Well, she's already complicated her life one time, and now she seems all weird and unavailable. And now you find out she killed your wife, and you're still going to somehow be with her later on. That's just, I mean, that's one reason why I left. Um, let's say Gotham, because Gotham, they were treating relationships ridiculous, how the people that are destined to be together, there's some crazy road bump that no one's going to get over, and no one's going to get past it. That's just uh, ridiculous. Uh, Jessica Jones herself, I don't like her. I mean, I, I knew going in that she was messed up, that she was uh, an anti-hero, anti-social, gothic-ish, dark, brooding, but she's just rude to everybody. She's mean to everybody. She's a jerk to everybody, her friends, her allies. And it's like, at the same time, she'll tell people, suck it up. Oh, you know, just deal with it. You know, whatever their problems are, like, it's your problem. You know, just, uh, you know, just don't make a mess about it. Yet, you know, she's rude to everybody else. Like, she, she, like, she likes whatever she wants, the old woe is me moment. She wants it, or she'll mope around and complain when everybody else wants her. Oh, what's it? What about me? Moment. That's just awful. I mean, I need to like my character a little bit, other than well, she used to be nice, you know. So who knows? Maybe we'll pick up by the time the series ends. Uh, another thing, ridiculous. Uh, the Patsy Walker character. I liked her until episode, I guess five, or whenever she hooked up with the cop that almost killed her, that tried to kill her. Because again, this is stupid. Uh, we've established that she's some type of victim of some type of crime or horror or tragedy because she spends her time training with the personal trainer to teach her side type of martial arts and disarming people uh, to put where she's battered and, and bruised and tries to keep it a secret. Her apartment is like a fortress. It has a super like, steel door. The apartment has a panic room. The apartment has a special sort of a key code that would to her finger. So she obviously faced some type of crazy tragedy. And then uh, this guy 
almost kills her. Pretty much her worst nightmare that despite all of her training and effort and, and, and uh, skills, she still almost uh, died in her own home. So it means that her training was worthless. Her security was worthless. Uh, and whatever victimizing she had in the past was coming was coming back to life. So even if she forgave the cop for being controlled by Kilbury, I mean, that's fine. You're not going to hook up and have sex with the guy that almost killed you a couple of days ago, especially when you're some type of tragic story, tragedy of, of being a victim or something like that. So that's, again, ridiculous. Maybe, maybe after a couple episodes, okay, maybe, and I do mean maybe, but no, not after uh, a couple hours chatting by a door and getting a nice gun as a gift and then having a nice chat in the living room that's going to lead to to sex with a woman who's uh, being with a guy that almost killed her and she has a serious uh, victim uh, problem case. Uh, the Carrie Ann Moss character, I interested to see where she's going because I mean I don't really like her but she's the type of character not supposed to really like she's such a uh, lawyer uh, the, the I just care about the money and winning type of lawyer almost cold to a point you wonder how she could be in love with anybody else I can understand I can understand why she's cheating on her wife because so, she just seems like the person that's so self-centered uh, but uh, she's apparently in love with her secretary or personal assistant or whatever and wants to marry a personal assistant. He's like, show me some love, please. Because right so far, you've just been a cold, calculating uh, jackass, which is fine, you know, you know, but like, you want me to believe that in the audience that she's also in love with this other person and not just using her for fun. You gotta give me, show me some love with the person. You gotta give me, show me some the reason to, to believe that she's fall in love. Uh, especially since, uh, the lawyer, she, she was carrying was this character. She wanted to take her uh, girlfriend to the restaurant that uh, she proposed to her wife. And you know, like the wife encounters them just before they go in, and Carrie Ann Moss like she doesn't get this restaurant. And the, the girlfriend's like, no, she does. And like the girlfriend's siding with the wife, ex, ex well wife still at this time is like, yeah, you don't take the girlfriend to the restaurant that you proposed to. You your other relationship, especially when it was apparently a big proposal. It was like, hey, honey, you want to get married? No, apparently it was some type of special thing with a uh, the dessert or something or a wine or something with the ring and everything that's special. No, you, you don't do that. I mean, that's just stupid. That's wrong. That's ridiculous. So, so right now, it's where I'm siding with the girlfriend. It, it's very rare that I would side with the girlfriend, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, someone cheating with someone, I, I usually don't side with the uh, lover, with the um, girlfriend or side piece or whatever you want to call it. At least not when they know they're being a side piece. And Luke Cage, he didn't know he was being a side piece. The when he was with, she would take off a wedding ring, so he didn't know that she was married. That's one thing. But when you're uh, knowing you're, you're cheating with someone, that I have difficulty siding with that person but yeah so so far so good but then again she, uh she's like you and i don't want to accept your proposal until you get divorced or worse. so carrie ann moss wants to dirt on her ex-wife so maybe 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 the girlfriend and the soon-to-be ex-wife are actually in cohesion who knows we'll see uh also didn't like that the girl that Kilgrave. uh told to kill her parents, which sort of got this whole thing ball rolling. I don't like that she tried to have an inmate beat her up to the point where it will cause the her to lose the, the baby because that's, again, that just doesn't make sense. I mean, it makes for a very suspenseful moment. I imagine that's probably what they were more focused on, just having some type of suspense and intrigue and you think it's going to be one thing, but it's not. On that level, it succeeds, but other level, it's like, Girl, your this private detective was able to secure a major lawyer for you out of nowhere. I think she can probably get you some drugs or some resources or move you up the list to get the doctor to take care of your uh, situation. I mean, the one thing she, she tried it and then uh, went the route with the uh, hiring the, the 
inmate, you know, that'd be one thing, but she just decides, and again, she's not in her right mind, and again, she might want to be physically punished for what she did to her parents, and the guilt, she doesn't have the benefit of the help group, the Kilgrave help group that uh, gets established, which is fine, but, you know, it, 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 you want to make if you really want to make sure that the, that the, the, the fetus is aborted, that's that's how you want a chance. You know, you should at least try to go the route. And she said, well, it takes like two months or whatever like that. I'm quite sure she talked to the lawyer, talked to Jessica or something like that. They could have found something, or you know. So yeah, it's uh, it's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Jessica is such a anti-hero. I just left me like as sad. The only thing, person I really like her right now is Kilgrave. And because his character is consistent and, and for lack of a term, makes sense. I mean, he's a jerk. He's an asshole. He doesn't care about anyone, not even children, which, you know, normally it infuriates me and it does infuriate me, but his character has been consistent and, you know, you give the ability for, to, for a guy to make anyone do anything at any time, then, and, he, and he's already an asshole, was an asshole before, or evil, then, yeah, he's going to be self-centered. He is going to uh, just kill at will, or at least tell people to die at will. Although, again, I don't see how having a cop jump out uh, an apartment building is keeping a low profile. I mean, it, uh, even though, even if, uh, you know, that's going to draw attention, okay? Uh, you know, that is, uh, if someone committing suicide is going to draw attention, and a cop just jumping out and off, uh, uh, killing himself that way is going to draw attention. So I don't know what his plan was. Or maybe I just finish up watching the show and was going to leave in, in 10 minutes, but still, it's just ridiculous. That part I didn't like. But, you know, his his character, he just cares about himself, so, you know, he takes what he wants, does what he wants, says what he wants, and he's completely obsessed with Jessica Jones, probably because she had powers and for a moment she was able to resist him uh, after uh, Jessica killed the wife of Luke Cage. So, uh, those are my initial thoughts. So, Episodes one through six right now is in C territory. It's heading to D territory. Uh, I'll see how the rest of it goes. Um, but yeah, right now I, I am not liking it. I'm not liking Jessica Jones. I'm not liking that. I like Luke Cage. I just don't like that Luke Cage is in the show so much, and that somehow he's going to still wind up being with Jessica Jones after finding out that not only is she responsible for killing his wife, but uh, kept it a secret from him. Uh, for so, for so long, um, uh, and I, I was like in the Patsy Walker character until she had sex with the guy that tried to kill her. Uh, I didn't like that uh, cop guy either. He's just over eager slash obsessed slash crazy. You know, as I, I, I just said, I liked you before. I knew you were you were, you were a good psycho cop. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, Carrie Ann Moss character, you know, she uh, she's this calculating lawyer, and apparently she wants the fetus. Maybe she figures she can get some money for selling a, I guess a mutant or a enhance or a potential baby enhance. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Uh, the kid that was impregnated by Kilgrave, she does something stupid with trying to get herself beat up to cause the abortion. When I see, she could have just. At least try first with Karen Moss and Jessica Jones. Um, oh yeah, Karen Moss is character called Hogarth. Ugh, that's a horrible name. Uh, let's see. I'm siding with the girlfriend right now so far. Um, Jessica Jones. She snaps at everybody. She's angry at everybody. Uh, she wants everybody to just not bother with their problems and like, yeah, hey, you have problems, well, I have problems, and people just have problems to deal with it and all kind of crap, but, you know, she, she's just a jackass right now, and not enough of, of good qualities for me to like her, so, all right, I'm, that's my thoughts on episodes one through six, I'm High Heel Knight, thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.